Hey everyone, this is the next video in the series about inside Spring Boot. We have covered internal architecture and we also have covered the Spring Boot starters. We have, uh, I have explained you what is this Spring Boot starter uh, all about and we also have seen the list of starters that are available with the Spring Boot library. Right, it's time we cover the auto, con auto configuration, the second module uh, that is uh, the main thing in behind the Spring Boot uh, Spring Boot project, right? So first was Spring Boot starter and then auto configuration. How it is doing the auto con configuration part when you had when you have added the dependencies, right? So all the related videos are given in the description box. Go ahead and check out that. So here Spring Boot starter reduces build dependency and Spring Boot auto configurator reduces the Spring configuration, right? So that is why it is Spring Boot is known as opinionated, right? Because it comes already, it comes with the default configuration and it, uh, that works when you are starting your application. If you want to uh, customize that, you are, you are free to re, free to customize those configuration. Otherwise, it is going to work the default configuration that they already have, right? Auto configuration. So what are the things that we should understand uh, when auto configuration comes into picture? So there is any library that you any starter file the any starter dependency that you have added in your project so there you have to look for the spring dot factories that is spring spring boot looks for this spring dot factories and uh, sees there are list of dependencies key value pair and loads that into the context right so in a while i am going to show you the contents of this file right and then spring configuration metadata dot json right so the properties file that you are adding uh, in your application.properties and application.yml those are also loaded by the application framework right so, and this needs to be given into the application uh, into the starter that uh, they have right and apart from this spring configuration they have additional spring configuration metadata which is related to this only right and next the annotations that are there with the library they are passed by the they are processed by the ASM, which is the Java bytecode engineering library. You found, if you want to know about the ASM, this is the link that you can go ahead and see. Right. And now let's talk about the annotations. Right. So little bit, I'm just going to reiterate this. There are different categories of condition annotations that are there. Class conditions, bean conditions. Right. And then property conditions are there and the resource condition is there. Web application condition is there. and spell that is spring expression language condition is there right so these are the different categories of annotations based on which auto configuration works right so let me take you to the project and show this you show this into the project right so this is the demo project that i am showing you in this series right so here i have to look for the auto configure dependencies that they have coming down here we have spring boot auto configure right so uh, i have explained you from where these are coming right so you have added one dependency spring boot starter web and internally spring auto configure dependencies there right so that is why it is coming from there right so if i come down here and then come to meta inf now here the things start first spring dot factories right so here you see there is lots of information let me maximize this part right and show you this so there are different categories right so first is their initializer right and then we have application listeners right and then fear uh, then we have auto configuration import listeners and then we have auto configure import filters right so these are the and then we have auto configure right so these are the few categories of key values that they have right now coming to first one that is initializer it it is the fully qualified class name application context initializer right and then we have respective values for that so it looks for the initializer into the project right so what initializer to be loaded these these one will be loaded right shared metadata reader factory context initializer and condition evaluation report logging initializer right so if i show you these are the classes that are present in this uh, project that we have right so if i show you this control n then application context initializer it can be an interface or a class right so this is the here next we have this shared we can go ahead and see this whatever they have written right here so these are the internal two 
one so these are the factories that gets loaded by the application then we have application listener background pre initializer its value is here then we have auto configure import listener right value of this conditional evaluation report auto configure import listener right so if i show you this file it is here right it loads the if i show you the method they have set bean factory right so they are setting the bean factory right so bean factory uh, is in, initialized from here and then uh, the instances that are created gets loaded into the system right uh, next coming to the auto configuration import filters right they have on bean condition on class condition on web application condition right so for this project this all is applicable that i was talking about the class condition annotations so this is that right so on bean condition on class condition and on web app application condition so let's see what happens when we have on web condition on bean condition right here it it has mentioned the order this is the lowest precedence right and then we have conditional or singleton required type required types and all of this information is internal to it and this is how it processes those annotations right and this is how it is basically auto configuration is about how spring framework spring boot framework is loading all of these files into the system right and then main part auto configuration so the key here is enable auto configuration all of the above that are there import initializer and this uh, there are very specific to spring boot uh, framework but auto configuration is there for the uh, for any starter that is out there in the market and that uh, you are also going to create it right so you should mention the enable auto configuration key and then auto configuration file where you are auto configuring the things for the, your application right so here now this is the only key now enable auto configuration inside this comma separated values list of values you will get right in the same way that you have here right it, it is only one and this this slash that you are seeing it is for the next line indicator right so this is here so these are the spring uh, aop auto configurations rabbit auto configuration batch auto configuration and cache auto configuration you are seeing there are a whole lot of auto configuration files that are available out there right and then we have failure analyzer if there is dependency and we're starting an application there is an issue how to analyze those failures and show the uh, proper message to the user so that we can know that what uh, depend what problem is there right so it has this failure analyzer no such bean definition failure analyzer so if you are working in the spring boot from long time or you have exper experimented with it you know no such bean definition failure analyzer and you have got the error right right so no such bean de definition is there right so when you are interacting with the database you should have uh, seen this hikari driver configuration right and then data source bean configuration also and if i show you this here and the error that is mentioned there it will be it look it will look familiar to you right required this but could not be found right and then we have consider adding a dependency and this adding a bean of type a bean name this so this is how it in it uh, analyzes the failure for the if there is no such bean definition error right and this template available availability when you are adding the presentation part of application uh, like html and other part so then this template availability providers comes into picture right so free marker template is there right so timely template application provider is also there right so timely i have created one sample application in the on this channel you can go ahead and check out that right so this is how it uh, it um, this is how it loads the files that are auto config that are able to auto configure things into the system now let's go ahead and analyze one one of these auto configuration class and what it is doing inside that right so i am taking example of this cache auto configuration right so let me go ahead and see this show you this now there are many things that are going on here right so you are getting this error right ORM JPA so it is expecting this dependency but we do not have we have not included this dependency that is why it is here right so now main things start here add configuration is there so that it, the things uh, get loaded into the system right 
conditional on being conditional on missing being so these are the condition annotations that we have explained uh, these are the condition annotations that i have explained you right here so these are the few categories right class being property conditions right so let me show you this more so if i show you the documentation of this what it is saying so this is the conditional that only matches when beings meeting all the specified requirements are already contained in the bean factory all the requirements must be met for the condition to match but they do not have to be met by the same bean right so and basically when you are putting this conditional bean annotation so it is looking for this class right so if instance of this is there only then it is going to uh, instantiate it right so it is conditional on bean it is conditional on missing bean it is on conditional on class right so cache manager should be there right and conditional missing bean so cache manager is there and cache resolver should be there right and enable configuration properties this annotation is there so let me show you what is this so it enables the support for configuration properties that is there right so cache properties so whatever inside this cache properties the cache type couch space and all this you can load this by using this one and this is the auto configuration after and auto configuration before there is ordering of the configuration that you can apply right so uh, sometimes you need that before this uh, cache auto configuration is loaded into the system before this uh, there is some prerequisite uh, that should be loaded right so in auto configuration after we can use that right auto configuration after uh, so uh, after cache auto configuration this will be loaded and if it is auto configuration before then before this it should be matched right so this is how it is working right so if i show you this one so hint that for auto configuration should be applied after other specified auto configuration classes right so this cache auto configuration be applied after all of this all right so this is the meaning of this right so if i show you from where this is coming so this is coming from the spring boot auto configure file this and i show you here so there are all other annotations that are there auto configuration after auto configuration before auto configure order enable auto configuration so all of this annotation is coming from spring boot auto configure right so uh, that i was showing you the spring dot factories right uh, so this from where this is uh, loaded into the system so for this we have spring factory loader right so if i show you this here so you can see it is the reference meta inf spring dot factories and here we have a class that is load factory load spring factory so this is how it takes the reference for that right so factory resource location it is taking into uh, account and loading whatever entry is there right so whenever you have this starter information uh spring dot factory is it is here so whenever you have this auto configure and inside any jar that you have you have this spring dot factories it looks in class path it looks into the spring boot framework looks into the every jar and looks for meta nf to spring dot factories for the auto configuration part and loads whatever inside there right now coming to additional metadata json that is there right so before coming this c spring configuration metadata json that is here, that is here right so if this this file starts with uh, if i show you control yeah so it is start with this group name server type so it is list of that right so it ends uh, it is group uh, this in json format so it takes uh, the object this name type source type and a source method is also at some time and sometimes it contains the value also right so why is it there so if i come to you these are the configuration and information about that right so if i show you here in src mean resources you need this right so you as uh, you need some configuration for example i want to configure the port right so if you name the port and it is for auto suggestion is there so for application not properties are not know or for some reason it is not working so there is one more configuration way that we can do it application dot yaml right so if i have this yaml and that uh, auto suggestion uh, thing to come so if i type here port 
it is automatically going to detect that uh, if it, it is there so that is why it is coming right here from metadata right so 8081 by default it is 8080 but i can uh, change this one right so that is coming from this if i show you this port server dot port right so this default value is coming from here server dot port what type it is taking integer and this is for this and source type uh, it that configuration value will be read by this server dot properties right and then default value it is coming 8080 and in the same way we can add others also and if i want to name it application name it is automatically going to detect that right so uh, i can mention test app right so this is how so this is why we have this metadata.json so when you are creating your own custom starter you don't forget to add this spring configuration metadata.json into your file right so spring dot factories configuration metadata additional metadata these are very much important all right so this is all about the auto configuration so before leaving uh, before ending this video let me show you one more thing and this is the official website official documentation of spring boot auto configuration right so one thing i want to show you here that so this condition annotations that i explained you about so class and conditions there is conditional on class conditional on missing class is there right you can get more information from here conditional on being conditional on missing being right and then we have property condition so for the property condition if a specific property is present there only then auto configure that particular file right so you can get more information from right from here right so that's that's all for this video right so now we have information about the starters right and how they are configured into the spring boot and also have con uh, in information about the auto configuration part how is that working so in the next video we will try to create our own custom starter right so as per our requirement right so that this is going to be very interesting and very practical one so do check out that video right so all the related video and playlist and source code all are given in the description box of this video so go ahead and check out those i'll see you in the next video with this custom starter right so take care bye bye